The sun was just coming up and here just outside his childhood home on Middleton Crescent in Milton, Jeff Burnett was prepping to get on his bike for his second annual Frank's ALS Journey fundraiser to commemorate his father, of course, who died of ALS on July 1st of last year. He'll take the 200 kilometer trek to his father's resting place near Owen Sound today. I asked him how he was feeling. He said he was ready. I feel fantastic. Mm -hmm. I feel uh, wide awake and um, riddled with adrenaline, just like a flurry of it last year, but I feel great. It means the world. Um, there's, there's, I mean, only so many people would understand, but the feeling of humbleness, gratitude, and, and just encouragement is just is surrounded. I'm surrounded by it. He's not alone, though, as you can see. Many supporters came out to cheer him on, with a few of them going on this journey right along with him. We want to be here, be a part of it, and uh, be a part of something larger than life, right? So, and if we can raise some money for ALS, that's, that's what it's all about, right? Just uh, keep raising some funds and keep everybody, uh, keep everybody moving. And I just want to be here for Jeff, too, and uh, pace the car and make sure, uh, make sure he's safe and load up all the supplies on the back and... I'm not sure I'm ready for a, uh, a 13, 14 hour car ride from Milton to Owen Sound, but uh, it, it'll, it'll be fun though. My mom put out a post um, looking for riders just to ride with me because, you know, not many 17 year olds are into cycling very much. So uh, we're just looking for other people to ride with and stuff. So Jeff reached out and said, we're doing, a couple, we're doing this big ride and uh, going up to Owen Sound. So I joined him on a few rides already and uh, just looking forward to heading up there. Well, I met Jeff just about a year ago and uh, it's a great cause. So I, uh, I'd love to, uh, I'm happy to kind of join and uh, for a cause, of course. So uh, I've been friends with him forever and uh, like we went to kindergarten together. And uh, yeah, I know, it just feels like the right thing to do. So I try and join him for the 10, 15 minutes that I can keep up with him. And then he's long in the distance and I turn around and go home. Now, Burnett had a bit of a slow start trying to fix a broken tire. Lucky for him, though, he had a spare bike with him and the team left just before 6.30. Burnett and his team are live streaming his journey on his Facebook page for you to follow along, making various stops along the way.